Good evening and welcome into the WHKY News for Thursday, October 17th. I'm Rob Eastwood filling in for Ralph Mangum. Ariana Mack will have our crime report. The WHKY News is on over the air TV every weekday on channel 14.2. We are also on Compass Cable in Morganton, channel 142. Skybest in West Jefferson, Vibrant in Salisbury, Comporium in Rock Hill, and TDS in parts of Iredell and Mecklenburg counties. And of course, we're online at whky.com and our YouTube channel. Topping our news today, a grant application to build a new Hickory High School was not selected by the State Department of Public Instruction. According to our news partner, WACB, the needs-based public school capital fund grant application requested funding for a new facility on the same site as the current high school. The new school could cost up to $164 million, according to an estimate from an architecture firm. The grant could have funded up to $62 million of the cost for the new facility. Public instruction did not provide a reason why the application was not selected. Hickory City Schools has not provided details on the future of Hickory High after the grant application was not selected. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, Disaster Survivor Assistance Team has opened a mobile registration intake center in Alexander County to assist homeowners and renters who experienced damage or loss due to Hurricane Helene. The FEMA team had office hours today and we'll have them again on Friday from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. at the Alexander County Services Center at 151 West Main Avenue in Taylorsville. They will assist with registration, questions, referrals, and more. No decisions will be made on site. Homeowners and renters are encouraged to take advantage of this opportunity to receive much needed assistance. Hickory Metro Counties will offer a Disaster Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or DSNAP, to help non-SNAP recipients who lost food during Hurricane Helene. DSS is working in coordination with the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services and the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Current SNAP recipients are not eligible. Residents in 25 counties may apply for DSNAP. They include Catawba, Alexander, Burke, and Caldwell. The North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services received federal approval to begin phase one of the DSNAP program from the U.S. Department of Agriculture beginning October 18th of this year. You can apply for assistance now during the online pre-registration period that application period ends on October 24th. For more information, contact Trina Riddle at 828-352-7672. You can also get more details by going to this story at our website, whky.com. Hickory City Council met in regular session Tuesday. Council considered the voluntary contiguous annexation of 151.218 acres located at 432 Catawba Valley Boulevard Southeast, 2115 Third Street Place Southeast, and five other adjoining parcels. The item was unanimously approved by Council. You can get more details on Tuesday's Hickory City Council meeting by going to that story at our website, whky.com. 